So to remind you, uh, so the last time we introduced uh, the notion of fundamental group. So as was promised in the very beginning, it provides us with a in a sense a map from the collection of all topological spaces to Well, it depends. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, this is a, what is called a class. But uh, I mean, you just can understand. Uh, uh, this, this, this. I mean, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a set in the. I mean, as as you as we don't know, if you like, if you if you say that the set of all sets is, is a set, you are aware of some contradiction. <laughs> So one should be careful. <laughs> I mean, the proper notion of this is a class. So P1 is not a map? Yeah, it's not a map. Uh, well, if you're familiar with the category here, this is a function. So, but uh, I mean, you don't want to talk about details, you can understand this is. Uh, I mean, this can be properly defined, but uh, as a function between categories. But uh, so far, you just. I need to understand this is R, which for each for each point in the logical space gives me a, a well defined uh, group, which uh, denotes it by, by one. And uh, So, and, and then, so at the end we uh, we defined uh, what means for the logical space to be simply connected. So X uh, connected pass pass connected X is simply connected. Drop the dependence. So if we consider in groups up to it isomorphism, we can drop dependence of the base point. So up to the isomorphisms, all those groups uh, are the same uh, for, for, for any endpoint in the same group. Group was connected. And uh, so, so why is this? Uh, uh, what is the reason of this name? Uh, 
is the following. So x is simply connected. So in a sense, this can be understood as the alternative definition of, uh, of a logical space being simply connected. If and only if uh, all paths with uh, fixed endpoints are homotopic. Means that you consider a logical space or possible paths. I fix my endpoints, x0 and another one, and the statement for the statement uh, that pi1 of x is zero. Sorry, I was using uh, the kind of multiplicative notation. So the zero group is denoted, is denoted by one. So any this is going to the same as any pair of paths uh, with the same endpoints. Homotopic to So, how we can see this? This will be homotopic. The left hand side will be uh, pass homotopic to f itself, and the right hand side will be pass homotopic to g. So that's uh, what you wanted. That's what I wanted to show. Now, what about the other way around? Uh, so now I want to assume that uh, 
for any pair of f and g, they are homotopic to each other. And I want to show that uh, the fundamental group is trivial. Uh, so take any, let me take any uh, pass f and h now. But, uh, so f as before will be uh, a pass starting at x0 and uh, ending at x1. But h will be just a loop. Uh, some loop starting and ending at x0. Now I just have some situation I have some f and some h. So essentially what I want to do, I want to show that the uh, under assumptions, uh, under my assumption h is uh, homotopic to, uh, to, uh, to a constant loop. And, uh, so how can I do this? So if I if I have this pair, I can I can, I can consider the following composition: the composition of f. Uh, so the other uh, yes, composition of h. So I go first around h, and then I go along f. So this is a this will be a pass from uh, x zero to x one. It's another pass from x0 to x1. And uh, so under my assumptions, it should be homotopic uh, to f itself. And since we know all paths going from x0 to x1 are homotopic conditions. And then again, I can just uh, start with this equivalence. Uh, and uh, so I can compose uh, both sides with f bar, an inverted pass. And then I use, again, use the fact that this, we know that the composition of pass and its inverse is homotopic to a constant map. And then, uh, moreover, the, the composition of constant, uh, constant loop and any pass is homotopic to this class. So I show that for any loop starting at x0, it's homotopic to a, a constant loop. So it's maybe u pi 1 x. So this shows this uh, shows this proves the equivalence uh, of two dimensions of, of uh, topological space being simply connected. Questions? <coughs> yes, uh, I don't understand where the the second argument. Uh, why why to show the the x one point? Well, this is a uh, this is a, par a part of uh, my assumption. So, so if if I if I want to show uh, equivalence of these two statements, so one if I go if I want to show that uh, so here if I want to show uh, the direction in this way, uh, so I need to assume I so some of the assumptions of my uh, statement is that for any if I fix any two points in my logical space S. And, and the any two parts between this point are homotopic, then I need to show that the uh, fundamental group is trivial. So this is a paid part of my input data, these two points. Mm -hmm, but we want to prove that it's simply connected, so each loop is. Uh... I mean, we proved, we proved that this is, uh, this is trivial, but since we know that, I mean, we assume that x, we already assume that x is uh, fast connected. So this is the same. Uh, the dependence, if, if it's trivial for any base point x0, it's trivial for all base points. I mean, I, I need to show the statement for any, uh, for any pair of points. And, and this I need to show for, for any other, I don't know, x0 term. But since if I show it for x0, I, sh I, sh I show it for yeah, using previous uh, property, I show it for any, for any base point. So you can just write like this. Okay. 
So we want to consider first uh, kind of material, uh, I mean, example of a statement of calculation of our, uh, so, well, okay, let me, uh, uh, okay, well, let me, I can make the following format first. So, for example, uh, phi one of uh, R n, for example, is two. Uh, since any uh, any two parts. Uh, we show that any two paths in R and are homotopic to each other, they present it. Just linear, it just presents a linear homotopy, linear homotopy between two paths. You can find as a proof of the statement uh, in the beginning of the lectures. Uh, this, the, this three more, the first three more. Yes. Yeah, uh, the, the statement all pathways with fixed end points are homot homot homotopic for each other. Yes. Uh, this is for, for some two points? Or for, for any two points. And if it is for any two points, then it is for it is, then it is true for the point x0 as an ending and starting point, then the proof yes. will be trivial, right? We don't need yes. that. Yeah. I, I mean, if it is true for any two points, we choose yes. x0 to be equal to x1, no, then we will not need to prove anything. Yeah, but we, here we, we have to show that if this is true for any two points, for arbitrary two points, then it's... Uh, then it's... Uh, uh, yeah, I... I mean, the statement not that there exist, exist uh, two points such that... Yeah, we are using it. Yeah. So if, if we have for every two points, we can use it, for a specific two points, and then we choose x0 to be equal to x1? No, the, the statement is it's, it's, uh, for, uh, yeah, for it's some right. two points. Okay. If for some two points, all, uh, I mean, if, 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 if you go, if you, if, if you go, if you want to show it this way, in this way it's for some two points, okay. and in this way it's for any two points. Okay. Is it, is it yeah. clear? Okay, now we want to uh, give some example. Uh, uh, so also for if I take a disk. Also one, or in fact, uh, any any component of any convex region inside R is also uh, by the same because it's, like, when I use a homotopy in R M, it will stay inside this uh, convex region. So let me define. So in 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 in, in, in the following. In the, in the statement which I will make uh, just in a moment, so I will use the following uh, presentation of a sphere of, of, a, of a circle. The circle, so I will realize my circle as a quotient for a line over integers, meaning besides that I consider a set of all real numbers, and I consider the following equivalence relation. So t is equivalent to t plus n. Where n for, for any for any n in the terms. Yes. Right, of course, you can also realize it as a portion over over unit interval by identification of two points zero and one.
show the following theorem. The fundamental group of a uh, circle. Uh, so of course the circle is uh, fast connected, so we just uh, we don't need uh, uh, to choose base point here. If you're talking about this group up to uh, uh, isomorphism. So we want to show the isomorphic to Z group of uh, integers. And moreover, we suppose I take a, I want to take a particular realization of this fundamental group, so I take a, a fixed base point uh, to be zero in this uh, construction, uh, generated. So this is generated, so the thing is this will be generated by the following group. Zero to one from the interval uh, to S one defined like this, uh, where it just takes T to T modular one. I mean, this just means that uh, zero and one, one is taken to. So how can I visualize it? So the circle is uh, something like this, and uh, suppose this is zero, and uh, omega is just a loop which goes like this. It kind of winds once around uh, the circle. And more, you want to expect that the group of all loops, so this integer here, this corresponds to how many times uh, the loop winds around S1. So this is what more you expect, but we need to prove it, uh, we need to actually prove this. And, uh, but the proof will be a bit later. So actually, in order to rigorously prove this, uh, this kind of intuitively uh, clear statement. One has to do or some. One has to do some work. Uh, another question: uh, If uh, in in any case, uh, if we have a, let's say a, sub, a subspace of R n, then we can each time do the composition how many times, such that uh, the fundamental group is at least z. So what do you mean composition? I mean, if we have a loop, for example, we can compose a loop again and again and again in any topologic space, and uh, the fundamental loop should be... No, but it, it can be that the, 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 the loop which you start with, it can be homotopic to, uh, to a trivial one, and then the composition will be also homotopic to a trivial one. Mm -hmm. if, you, if your generator is... Uh, I mean, if you start with something which you think will be generated, but it's actually homotopic to a constant loop. It's not going to give you, this composition is not going to give you new elements. So we need to, uh, so we need to do some pre preparatory work. So first, we want to introduce the following definition, which also will be important for us uh, some other questions. So, so a covering space of a topological space X is another topological space. So usually you know by X tilde equipped. With a map, which is uh, usually referred to as projection map P from X tilde to X. So 
such that for any for any point x in uh, logical space x, there exists an open neighborhood, let's uh, say u x. Such that the pre image of this uh, open neighborhood is a disjoint union of sets labeled by some index alpha, which are so it's a disjoint union, meaning that uh, precisely meaning that intersection of any pair of sets here non for any uh, non-coinciding pairs of sets here so alpha is not the same as beta the intersection is uh, an empty set and so this is not it's not finished Map P to any of the open sets here so this gives me some map from uh, U alpha to U and uh, this should be a, a homomorphism Such, such, uh, such, such neighborhood, which satisfies this property, is uh, called evenly covered. It's a long definition, but what actually, uh, so this means something quite, quite natural. The family is arbitrary, not countable or something? No, not specified. And it's from u alpha to u x is new morphism. Uh, yeah, maybe I need to. Well, let me put X service everywhere. Thanks. So, what does this uh, mean geometrically? So, this geometrically means that the uh, Something like this. So, so X, supposing of topological space X, we have uh, some point here X, and this can be. This should happen for any in the neighborhood for any point. This, the, the picture should be like this. So there exists certain neighborhood U of X such that uh, so if I See this pre-image such that the uh, the pre-image looks like uh, essentially a collection of uh, copies. So since any guy here is homomorphic to U X, so the pre-image uh, is a collection of copies. I'm sure the collection of copies of this uh, label. This is my. Somehow, 
So which means locally, yeah, locally, since this means that locally, uh, x, so uh, as, uh, x tilde looks like a bunch of copies of the original space x. And the, the u alpha x are required to be open? Well, they are automatically open because this is a common mm -hmm. Yeah. This is open. This is the uh, ocean. Ah, but they are they are open in in, in their service. Hmm? The, uh, because of this homeomorphism, they are open in themselves. Yeah, they open in uh, X. Too. Yeah, but this is not because of the homeomorphism. If they have well, you have this. This is a continuous one. Yeah. I mean, I, I, by default, uh, yeah, this is a continuous map. I mean, by default, as I said, if I consider maps, they will continue this continuous. So this should be an open. Logical spaces, they might be not. Yes, but just in yeah. case, natural cases, where we can define the dimension, the dimension of x tilde need to be equal to x? Well, the natural case is when this is indeed countable. So, this, uh, I mean, all examples are yeah, all cases which you can see that this will be countable. So, then the dimension of x still is the same dimension. Ah. So, uh, The union should be countable, right? Mm -hmm. This is a part of the definition. Well, let's see. I mean, let's uh, let's mention this. Let's be countable. <coughs> All right, it's No, but in this case, you, uh, you, you're not going to, it's not going to be count. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I will not, I mean, uh, the neighborhood would be some desk, for example, and then we take the u-alpha x or cylinders above each other, not, not just uh, uh, desks. <coughs> Maybe it just must be required the definition that all those u are open. So 
let me uh, let me add this. L for this. So now we're not to worry about some uh, exotic cases. Let me let me add this. This will be fine. All right, this is a definition, so we want we can choose that. <laughs> we can define. <laughs> Yeah, let me let me add this as a part of the definition, but I don't want to uh, let me not assume that it's equal. So what is the example of this? R is a covering space. something like this over a circle and you can uh, you can uh, visualize this so. any some point x zero yeah take some uh, some arc which is not uh, arc, which contains M0, uh, which doesn't contain, which, which doesn't fill the full S1, then this arc is an example of uh, evenly covered. Uh, evenly covered uh, neighbor. Here, I guess I can be different uh, definitions, but 
And we will see in a moment the do you actually need this uh, condition uh, for those guys. I mean, when we're going to prove some theorem, we're going to see if we actually need this condition to be, to be open or not. Yeah, but according, according to this definition, R3 will not be a covering space to R2 with the equal condition, right? Yes. I mean, if you, 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 yeah, you assume that they are open uh, with a standard projection, it's not going to be. I mean, it is open. Uh, the disk uh, will be not as the image of a disk. Yeah. Will be the end of the fold that is. Yeah, yeah, So each disk is not open. Each disk is not open. Yeah, but this is which you want uh, is the following a map tilde y to x tilde the lift f to map f from y to x with respect to projection T from the cover of X to X if following diagram Is committed. In other words, uh, uh, F is the same as P e composed with that. So the lift is usually uh, denoted uh, by some, like in the diagrams, by dash there. This is because it might exist and might not exist. There are often a problem. Of lifting some function, finally. That's why one often uh, denotes it by the dashed one. To uh, uh, the following proposition, which we will later. So the result is quite general, and we will use it later, but we also use this result uh, to show that the fundamental group of uh, circle is Z. Map from y to uh, from y times integral to x, and also first fix uh, just a function. Uh, uh, so let me uh, fix at zero tilde the sum up from y to the cover of x, which will be a lift a lift of uh, restriction. This uh, will be f restriction of f. To uh, y and zero, then there exists a unique lift f tilde of f. So mainly, this is the map from 
y times integral to the power of x so lifting f and outside that so the restriction of the lift of this lift f tilde to the beginning of the interval outside is my fixed uh, lift f0 tilde in terms of uh, community diagrams we have the following situation so we have a uh, y times interval which is marked so there is a map f to x and uh, then there is a and the map so there is a cover of x by x tilde and there is an inclusion y uh, to y times integral and here we have a, so we have a fixed map f0 tilde and what we are asking is we are asking about the existence of a map f tilde such that uh, everything commits here and also if such f tilde is unique which satisfies other properties of this diagram is commuted I can understand this uh, again, as usual I can understand this is a sort of homotopy of functions from y to x and the statement that uh, if we fix uh, the original if we, if we, uh, so the homotopy between two functions and the, the statement if we fix the function in the beginning uh, uh, if, if we fix the, the lift of, of, the, of the function at zero which we have at zero then this completely fixed uh, the homotopy Uh, the lift, the lift of the uh, what is Aleph geometrically? Hmm? Aleph. What is left geometrically? Well, uh, it's. Uh, I mean, as 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 I showed, this is in general. This is a. I mean, a Hilton topological space. So mark from uh, from one from one to. Or something. Or something. I mean, absolutely, it's a bit hard to show, but we will, we will uh, to, to explain. But we will have something. So we have some map from x. So, say, so from y, from y to x. Let's say f. And then there is a lift. It's still there, which uh, locally looks like a bunch of copies. Uh, And we want to find a map which uh, says that if we, if we take map the lift of f tilde, so the f tilde, which is the lift of f, we want to map such a map, if we take some, some point here, so it map to some point there, then it's projected to the same, to the image of. Uh, uh, of this point. Uh, yeah, the, but, uh, uh, the image of uh, the image of F tilde is, is it only one layer or can it be in, in, in many layers? Well, I mean, each point is marked to some particular layer, right? Yeah, fixed point. But of course, it can be here, can be many. Well, uh, I mean, the, the layer structure is only on the local, but uh, yeah, I mean, of course, the image is, is can be uh, uh, yeah all around the place. Yeah, my image.
So this would be a particular the case when we consider the lift of maps uh, to a circle uh, from a, uh, to a circle to to its cover R. So there's some map. Uh, uh, yeah. So so uh, in, in that example, what 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 an example of x delta will be? And the example of S1 and R? Well, this, uh, yeah, this will be uh, uh, later on, I will explain this there, but the example is that, for example, if I, uh, uh, if I take a map, uh, I mean, uh, for example, if I, if I, if I, if I take, a, uh, say, minus 1, I take a map, I take a, a map from 0, 1 to S1, which is, uh, and this was the path, so suppose this is a path which winds and times. On this one, because this is lifted to a, a, to a pass, which kind of uh, roughly speaking uh, fills and floors of, uh, of, of this um, of the color. But we will we'll consider this in one thing. Oh, this, is, this is what you do uh, to, to show that the fundamental group is isomorphic to that. So it's how many times here is and how far in advance you, are, you, you go in the color. And this is, gives you some integer number, which is gives you realizing an explicit map to, to z. So the, the group of this uh, theorem will require some analysis. So it will be uh, uh, it will take some some work. It's not. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, conceptually, conceptually, it's a, it's an easy proof, but uh, technically, it requires some work. Um, so let me take. Uh, let me. Right. To make uh, things more geometrically, let me uh, draw a picture. Here we'll have some topological space X. Y times an interval, y times an interval can be, can be imagined like this. And this is a C from 0 uh, to 1. And uh, so let me uh, let me fix a point. And uh, 
know that, so we also know that F is a continuous map. Uh, then, by definition, there exist uh, uh, open neighborhoods. M, so the neighborhood of, uh, by definition of continuous map, it's the definition of uh, product topology on Y consider there exists an open neighborhood uh, in uh, Y, which contains Y0, and an open neighborhood VT, uh, which uh, contains T in uh, unit interval. Moreover, I can always, uh, can always take VT to be of the following form. I can take it to, to be uh, of the form of uh, intersection of an open interval in a real line with my uh, with zero uh, with intervals. So something like this. And uh, um, such that so the image of uh, M times VT is inside U X0. By definition of the continuous map, uh, you can always uh, choose a small neighborhood here, and here is a small neighborhood below it with your choice of the product, such that uh, uh, so this is a product of and I'm not here, and I'm not here, and then such that its image is completely inside my uh, neighborhood UX right here. Right? Again, I'm just using the definition of, of continuous map. And uh, uh, okay. So I can do this for each t. I can do this for each t, and uh, but we know that uh, the interval is compact, and uh, therefore the existence of uh, the existence of finite cover. by my intervals in T in T. So I can choose this, I, I have this concern, I have this choice of uh, neighborhood uh, here for any uh, for any T, but I can always choose a finite final subset of points here uh, so that uh, the corresponding intervals cover uh, cover my interval zero, from zero comma to one. To one. And uh, and then it follows that uh, there exists a finite set of points in my unit interval. So the order them like this is a finite set of points uh, and the new neighborhood M such that uh, when in I We need an xi and here f times an interval, closed interval from ti to ti plus one uh, is inside ui, some ui which is uh, which is uh, even colored. So 
So how do I make this choice of uh, this guy's ti and the new neighborhood m is uh, as follows. So I take uh, ti such that uh, for each of these uh, small intervals here between neighbor uh, ti's is inside uh, is inside some of the open intervals which I had before in my in my final tower for some t in the, in the final tower and uh, for n n new n is an intersection is an intersection of uh, all ends is a final cup. <coughs> so again, uh, there was a choice of m for each t. For each t, there was a choice of m and a choice of an interval which surrounds t. Then the we can we can make we can also choose uh, uh, here only finite number of t's. Uh, so the the, the different intervals cover this cover this uh, interval from zero from one. So this gives me some cover, finite cover by open intervals. But the, instead of this uh, cover by open intervals, I can choose a, I can choose a, a subdivision of this interval by uh, uh, like this, so that uh, uh, each interval like this is inside is somewhere inside here, and uh, in U M is uh, just an intersection for ends, and this condition still will be uh, satisfied. So I can modify now. Uh, now I can work with these assumptions. I can modify my picture a little bit. Like this. So now we can use this uh, setting to construct a lift of lift, the lift F tilde restricted to this neighborhood times an interval which starts at zero but ends at some point here, T i for some i here uh, of uh, the restriction of the original function to the same subset by induction. Uh, induction with respect to i. 
first we need to check the base. So for the base, we need to construct a lift on just n times zero. But this for this we need we know we know what should be the lift, and uh, here the lift because we have this F0 tilde restricted to this neighborhood inside Y. So the base is okay, and now we need the induction step. a smaller n uh, to uh, ensure uh, uh, to ensure that uh, the lift so we are using the uh, so we now we are using the, the assumption so when we do induction step we are using uh, we assume that this is already constructed so this is already known, and we need to extend it to i plus one. So we already this know, so this is this gives us some continuous function, so we always can check can can make us take a smaller n uh, to ensure that this is also inside uh, ui. So uh, no, this is not really one. So this is a so I went a bit uh, first. So there is a there is intermediate intermediate step before that. So, so the, yeah, by definition of the cover, so there exists a subset in X tilde, which is, there exists a unique subset <laughs> UR tilde, such that the restriction of my projection to the subset We should be map from U, uh, from it to U R is a homeomorphism, and this subset contains the image of Y zero times. So here we use uh, the induction assumption, so we, that we already know this lift uh, on the interval from 0 to Ti. So how does it look? So this, uh, so as uh, so as in definition of the uh, of the cover, so the bunch of copies of uh, this evenly covered number code, which are homomorphic to it. Oh my space still looks. And we know that they are disjoint. So is there only one well, only one of them which can contain a, a particular point? There's only one of them. Tilde, this particular. 
uh, which uh, so here I take a point. I take a point. Y zero I, for example, and this point is marked F uh, somewhere here. F y zero of pi, and here we have its lift F tilde of y zero pi, and the projection looks like this. And so here now, now we want to make a statement that uh, so by 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 taking a smaller m can always assume that. Uh, Image of n times ti is completely inside this ui tilde, the lifted, the lifted neighborhood. So I guess here, here, here we do use the fact that this is open because we use the, the fact that the uh, this is a, a continuous mark. So we can always uh, assume that this is inside. Then So we have a we have a we have defined lift from uh, on n times interval from zero to ti. So we need to extend it to next. Uh, uh, so we define it up to here. So we need to extend it to this uh, small interval, and uh, we define it as follows: the p one uh, p inverse. So the inverse of p restricted to u i tilde is here. Composed with uh, f restricted and so indeed, yes. Here, here we use the fact we use the fact that this is open so because we use. Uh, Property of the to use the property of the continuous function, that we can always <coughs> make this to be inside here. So, but why all the, <coughs> the interval ti, ti plus 1 should be also such that f t of uh, n times uh, ti, ti plus 1 is because uh, we can assume that it is true for just uh, n times t1, ti, but not for all the, <coughs> the interval. Uh, for the map below to be well defined, uh, we need no. that. Mm. Well, we need yeah we need, because we need the agreement of this function. Uh, need, need, so this fun, we need agreement this function. So this gives me continuous function because this is a grease 
with what, what was defined by, by, the, by the induction assumption we already defined it on here, right? So this needs to, uh, to agree uh, on the, at this end of the interval. That's why we need, uh, we need this. And we knew that, I mean, this, we, we knew that by, by the construction before, this was uh, contained inside of u, ui minus 1. But we also have to ensure that this also contains in this, uh, in the next, uh, so we kind of do, do our steps. Morally, the, what happens is that uh, we split uh, kind of, uh, when we split on a bunch of intervals here, this looks like this, like this sausage, n times a bunch of intervals. And uh, so for each kind of uh, slice here, like a six slice, we put, a, we, uh, we, we construct a lift by knowing what happens in the beginning here, assuming we already constructed the lift. And, uh, so by induction, we, need, we, can, we can do a lift step by step here in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an ambiguous way. So this, uh, so this, okay. So this uh, gives, gives me uh, the induction step, and then uh, uh, so the induction step works, and uh, so I can continue it till the, I can continue this process till the end of the interval. assume that y is a point. It's just a point space, so it contains the only point it contains is just the original. This y is some point of y is uh, and show that this lift. So then this neighborhood is just the whole point. And uh, uh, then I want to show that this f tilde is uh, unique. So how do I show this? So take, let me take any other lift. Suppose we have some other lift, f tilde, uh, f tilde prime, and uh, show by induction that uh, so in this construction which we had before show by induction that the, the restriction of this lift so now I mean the whole y state is a point so the function is just defined on the interval and uh, we want to show that by induction the, this lifts the restriction of this lifts on the Subinterval from zero to T i is the same. So the base of induction, so when i is equal to zero, so we know that uh, it's obvious that they're the same because they both uh, constrain to be 
uh, our given lift at the beginning of the interval f0 till now. So this is zero. Works. So the base, base works. Should be equal to this, but this is also should be equal to this. Then, then they are not the same. So the step is forward. So uh, <coughs> we know that. Uh, okay, so by construction of this lift. Image of the interval is inside this U I tilde, and uh, but then it follows that uh, <coughs> the image of this small interval by some our other lift should be inside. I mean, it has the same, uh, uh, so this is connected to UI here. So this should be uh, possibly in some other lift, uh, in some, in, in, possibly in some other uh, set here in this collection, which, which projects to UI. So this should be in this, uh, uh, sorry. In this uh, well, it's just uh, I don't know. It should be inside this, with, which is a, so. This is a the union of the joint sets in uh, X tilde, so including. UI, so this is my disjoint union of sets. But we know that the, uh, we also know that, so by induction, they already agree on the interval from 0 to Ti. So in particular, they agree, they agree uh, at this point Ti already. And uh, from this, it necessarily uh, follows that. Uh, uh, they are the same, right? They are. This, this is actually. Uh, so th th this this image is uh, is actually inside my my inside of my UI two because we know that this uh, I mean this could possibly. Uh, uh, Yeah, so we, we know that this is connected. And uh, uh, and we know that the, uh, uh, these guys are disjoint. So the whole uh, uh, the whole interval should be in the same in the same uh, In, in the same set as a as a beginning uh, as a, as an image of the beginning of the. This inclusion. Yeah, it's of course. I guess this means, yeah, the, uh, well, I mean, here is just uh, the neighborhood, I know, is just a line, uh, is just a point, 
So it could, it, it could be, we could suppose the lift goes somewhere else, right? In some other, uh, in, 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 some, in some other new, uh, uh, subset in, the, in this collection. But since we know that they coincide at one point, they should coincide everywhere. Namely, they both, when they are restricted to this uh, small interval, this new lift should be also uh, the new by the following composition, projection restricted inverse projection restricted uh, to your R tilde composed with F restricted to the single which uh, which was the formula which was the formula which defined uh, our original F tilde so this is the same as the original Step, the induction step also works, and we follow that they should coincide uh, everywhere. Well, it's just uh, well here it's just defined since y is one, so we just follow. They're the same. So this was in the case when y was a point, just a set consistent with a single point. So, uh, so what happens? So we, we what, so what we did so far? We can start with a, a lift uh, for general n because for general y we can start with a lift uh, for any neighborhood of any point. And we also showed when uh, for just one point, if the whole space y is one point, we also show the uniqueness. So now we want to construct a uh, lift on a whole space uh, you know, for general y and also show show uniqueness. So we all know that. Construct. So construct a lift uh, for for neighborhood M for any uh, point Y <coughs> in Y and. Uh, so all the neighborhoods they all cover the whole the whole space Y, but uh, the, all those diff all those lifts for all neighborhoods they agree they agree since uh, uh, so we consider them on a section on, uh, on another section of our if I if I take two some other Y zero Y prime. So, uh, Use y0, y0, y0 prime, it's a neighborhood n prime, and I immediately want to check if they agree on the intersection. And this is indeed true uh, because uh, 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 so this is true because uh, if I restrict it to any point inside the intersection, we know that the lift is unique. So they, they should get because uh, of uniqueness. Uh, when restricted <coughs> to any point. And so 
this, uh, so I can take, so when I consider, I uh, want to uh, ask what is the value of my function, if the function at any point in y, I just, uh, I just take any neighborhood and it will leave it there, but it doesn't matter which neighborhood I take because they all get. So this gives me a well-defined fine and unique. Again, it's unique because uh, if it's restricted, if there would be two, they would be, if there would be two different, they would disagree at some point. But we know that it's unique when it's a different point. Well defined unique lift to the y times interval. This uh, ends the proof. <laughs> well, like one, right, there will be a few, a few theorems. Uh, which uh, can require in, in our course, which will require such analysis, but more with, oh, more, yeah, mostly it will be more like uh, 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 nicer, nicer theorems and with this kind of more uh, uh, less technical, with less technical proofs. But this was uh, one few places which required this technical, technical. Okay, so I think. Uh,